Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with Giselle from GB Fragrances and we're doing a sample fragrance swap. If you're not following Giselle, I will put a link to her channel down below so you can get to know her, watch her videos. Please head on over after this one and give her some love and support. Giselle is just so lovely and so sweet. She is such a large an impressive fragrance collection. She has the newest releases that I haven't gotten my nose on. She has the older releases. I mean, I think she has every single fragrance that there's out there. I think she does. I love her descriptions of the fragrances. She gives beautiful detailed descriptions and uh, makes me feel like it's right there and I'm smelling. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. And we're gonna start sampling these babies here. She sent me six, very generous. Thank you, Giselle. The first one I'll be sampling is Bal de Freak, and I'm sure everybody's heard about it and tried it. I am late to the game as usual. I was so happy when Giselle told me that she can send me a sample of it, and I will spray some on my little tester strip. While that dries, I'll read the notes to you. So this has Amalfi Lemon, Targets, Black Currant, Bergamot, African Orange, Flower, Violet, Cyclamen, Jasmine, Vetiver, Amber, and Virginia Cedar. So this is definitely very citrusy, especially in the opening. It's floral. I pick up the violet. I love violets. I pick up Jasmine. It's not the most prominent note, but it's blended in there. And vetiver. You have to like vetiver to really enjoy this fragrance because this is a vetiver fragrance. That's the dry down that you will get. Citrus seeds, vibrant, it's fresh, it's creamy, very aromatic. Mm. It dries down and uh, the citrus recedes. It becomes less citrusy and just more aromatic, more earthy, woodsy, more delicious. Mm. It's very aromatic. There's no spices listed, but I feel spices. Like I feel like there are some sort of spices in here. I can almost smell the cardamom, ginger, but they're not listed again. It just gives off such an aromatic scent. Mm. And I think this is appropriate for all occasions, for every day, for every season. It smells very classy, very sophisticated, but not like too mature. It's still somewhat playful and fun. Oh, so good. I thought to myself, I want a full bottle of this, but let me hold off for spring and summer because, like I said, it's an uplifting, citrusy opening type of scent. But then I said to myself, you know what, Lala? This could be worn now. It also has comforting notes in it. It feels soothing, comforting at the same time. And I wanted it ASAP, so I will be getting this in the full size soon, I hope. I absolutely love this. Thank you, Giselle. The next one I'll be talking about is New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. And I don't own any Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. I just simply haven't had the chance to get any. I haven't tried any. This is my first Bond Number no. 9 anything. So New York Nights has been on my wish list simply because of the notes and the reviews that I read. This is a gourmand 
and I love me some gourmand. So, but I did want to sample before buying it. So I'll spray some on. And I'll read the notes. So this has notes of gardenia, jasmine, carnation, patchouli, sea notes, caramel, and coffee. Jasmine. The patchouli here luckily is not pronounced out. I'm not picking it up. It's not a sharp patchouli. And then as it dries down, I'm starting to pick up the caramel and the coffee. Mm. Very gourmand, very delicious smelling. It's a little bit salty. This fragrance is warm, it's spicy, salty, marine. It's creamy, it's soft. It's definitely a very sweet gourmand. It's not cloying though. I think those salty marine notes take away from it being too sweet. It smells delicious, it smells sexy. I really, really like this one. This is so good. This is definitely bottle worthy for me. I am, I will be purchasing a full bottle of this because I love my gourmands. I love my caramel coffee. I like the salty note. I love jasmine. So the florals are not as prominent in the dry down. In the dry down, they recede to the back and the gourmand aspects of it are left. Like I said, you get your coffee, you get your caramel and the saltiness. Such a good combination. The example I have here is Eau de Soir by Cicely. And I know Giselle talks highly about this. She puts this in a lot of her videos and uh, she really likes this fragrance. I will spray some on. And I will read you the notes as this dries down. So this has notes of mandarin, spruce, grapefruit, carnation, jasmine, lily of the valley, labdanum, oak, oak moss, lilac, pepper, rose, patchouli, and musk. And it's classified as a spicy floral. The patchouli to me is very prominent in this one and and that really turns me off from the fragrance it's a very sharp patchouli it's a patch bomb it's a little musky basically i am mostly getting patchouli and musk here um, it's peppery there's some oak moss and it seems like i'm nose blind to everything else not picking up the florals in this. I'm blind. I must be nose blind to it. The, only, the main thing I'm picking up is the main thing that I'm not a fan of, which is like a sharp patchouli. So I will have to pass on this one because even on a dry down, that patchouli comes through. So this is a no for me. I'll have to pass. Now here's Cheriel by Cheriel. I think I pronounced that correctly. I actually have not heard of this one. Giselle recommended it to me. She said it was very good. I haven't heard about this prior. The notes in this are juniper berries, orange blossom, mango, incense, frangipani, Frangipani flower, vanilla, orchid, amber, tonka, and patchouli. This smells beautiful. The mango is really coming through, and I love that because I don't own any mango fragrances at all. It's very fruity, very sweet. I smell the orange blossom. A little bit of incense comes through, but it's so slight that it's not bothering me at all. Mm. It's very fruity, mouth-watering. I smell the tonka, gives it a creaminess, a sweetness, vanilla, amber, it's resinous. On this one, I don't pick up the patchouli, which is a good thing in my case. And it smells very 
spring summery, very everyday friendly. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. This is not in any way offensive. It's not polarizing. It's a pretty scent. It's gentle. It's pretty. And this might be a full bottle worthy. So we'll see. The next one I have is Crystal Oud by Montal. So the notes in this are green apple, melon, mandarin, orange, oud, teak wood, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, saffron, white musk. This is very oudy. The oud here is sharp. It's very prominent. I can't smell past that. I smell the teak wood because that reminds me of a candle. I have a teak wood candle. There's definitely some sandalwood that I pick up and I pick up harsh patchouli. It's musky, but the oud and the patchouli are too prominent for me. So it's very animalic. Yeah, it's too animalic for me. I will have to pass on this one. The last but not the least is Rolling in Love by Killian. And I have been wanting to try this one for quite a long time. And uh, let's see. So the notes in this are almond milk, ambret, iris, freesia, tuberose, vanilla, tonka, tonka bean, and musk. Mmm, this is so delicious. It's nutty, milky, it's very lactonic, very almondy. I pick up the tuberose and it just gives it more sweetness. It's that delicious, sweet tuberose, creamy, very creamy, lactonic. I smell the vanilla and the tonka bean, gives it even more creaminess. It's a little bit powdery as well from the iris. It smells fruity, musky, sweet. This is a beautiful feminine floral. This is so intoxicating. Mm, it's very sensual. Oh, I love this scent. The scent is me. It speaks to my soul. This is a scent I could see myself wearing a lot and having as one of my signature scents if I was to have one. So for me, this is definitely full bottle worthy and I will be picking up a full bottle of this sometime in the future. Yes. So that concludes my video for today. Again, Giselle, thank you so much for these beautiful samples and for the collaboration. It was so much fun to do. Thank you guys so much for watching and please let me know what your thoughts are on the ones that I just tested. If you have them, like them, try them, yay or nay, let me know. Also, don't forget to visit Giselle's channel. I will be putting her link down below again. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here soon.